Hello everyone, I'm Athena Raven, a mental health and manifestation life coach, and thank you for joining me on my new channel, um, where I hope to be sharing with you my knowledge on manifestation techniques, going through laws of attraction, laws of vibration, laws of assumption, um, as well as helping you dealing with anxiety, depression, and all those kind of low vibe moods that tend to anchor us from achieving our goals and desires when it comes to manifesting to our heart's content. Um, I'll also be utilizing the powers of hypnosis, um, which is what I do with my clients all the time. And I do find this to be extremely effective. So I'm hoping to bring an extra facet. I know that there are some uh, content creators who do utilize hypnosis, but not many. So I'm hoping to really kind of share with you the powers of hypnosis um, and how it can bypass that sort of critical faculty of the conscious mind, you know, the, the, the part of our minds that is constantly questioning and doubting and, um, you know, seeing the negatives and, you know, all the rest of it, um, <clears throat> bypassing all of that and actually getting into the unconscious mind, um, planting that seed in there so that our desires can grow. And uh, if you're a fan of Neville Goddard's work, then you are very familiar with the fact that, you know, all the powers within our unconscious mind, it is God, it is the creator, um, and that is where the power lays. So, so important to be able to access that and really, really utilize the power within. So I'm hoping my channel will help you to discover yourself as a conscious creator and to really, really start honing in and bringing in and attracting in all the things that you want to attract um, without any uh, hassle or issues. So thank you again for joining me. Do feel free to like, subscribe, and share the content to anyone that you feel might need it and could benefit from it as well. And do comment below on your experiences. I'd love to hear from you how you've been getting on. And also, if you have any, um, experiences that you would like to share as well i'd love to create a community where we can just come together and support each other you know there is no no such thing as a, a therapist or a manifestation guru or influencer that knows it all we can all learn myself included so i'd, I'd love to hear from you and for you to share your experiences with me also so if you're watching this video today it's because you're looking to manifest a text from a specific person now this is a request i get a lot from my clients and I know there are hundreds and thousands of videos out there already that um, give various techniques. But what I'm going to do in this video is I'm actually going to give you a guided visualization that's going to utilize all your senses and create a lot of depth in your unconscious mind. And from there, it should hopefully evoke um, the feelings within you. And that's, again, through Neville Goddard, the secret, you know, is in the feeling. So if we can really evoke some true emotions from the visualization, then you know, I have it, it is done, and I can let it go, sort of thing. So for some of you, you might have to watch and listen to this video repeatedly for a few times and practice. Um, for others, you know, who have been, uh, those of you who have been um, used to manifesting things and utilizing the power of your unconscious mind on a regular basis, you might find just a few times will do the trick. Um, but do feel free to use it as many times as you need to. And if you'd like to listen to it before bed as well, then just go off into a nice delicate slumber after having done the visualization that will also imprint on the unconscious mind too. So the first thing that we're going to do before we um, actually go into the visualization is just have an understanding that we need to suspend all disbelief. Obviously you are here because you want to manifest a text from a specific person. Now. It doesn't matter if, you know, perhaps you've gone through a breakup and, you know, that person has said to you they don't want to talk to you anymore. Perhaps it's someone you've dated and they're not showing you the interest that you deserve and desire. You know, they're not getting back to you. They've ignored a message from you. So you'd like to manifest a text from that specific person, perhaps, you know, uh, going through a divorce and, you know, you'd like that contact again, or perhaps it's even friends, family members that maybe you've fallen out with or that you would like to hear from, you'd like to manifest a text from them. So who, no matter what it is, no matter what your reason for being here, the process is the same. And you have to, at the very, very first thing that you have to do is just ignore the 3D reality around you. I know it's easier said than done. It's difficult when all your senses are showing you and saying to you that, oh, you know, but they said they didn't want to talk to me again, but they've blocked me, they're ghosting me, or, you know, it all ended really badly and there's no chance for, you know, my, my friend to 
rekindle or talk to me again whatever it might be you know we just have to ignore this 3d reality remember a lot of what we see hear, feel this reality around us is merely a mirror of what is going on within and if you're having a lot of fears and doubts and anxieties and you know chances are you have attracted this this breakup or this lack of communication or whatever it could be from fears of abandonment perhaps you're coming on too strong perhaps you distance yourself from fear of getting hurt and inadvertently push the person away so you're just seeing around you what you have manifested at this present time or you've manifested from past manifestations and they have come to fruition that's what you're seeing at the moment so your present day manifestation is going to come to you in the near future we don't know when exactly for everybody it's different and I have to say like a pet peeve of mine is seeing these videos where it's like manifest a text in three hours or 24 hours yes it absolutely is possible a hundred percent it is possible but I don't think it's fair to put that kind of content out there um, because what it does is that it just affects your confidence I mean what happens if you're doing that technique and you're like okay manifestation yes you know it's worked for other people I'm going to do it I expect that text in three hours or whatever but what happens if you don't get that that, that text in three hours that's going to affect your confidence and your belief and everything in future manifestations so remember you know every vision has its appointed hour I know that this was a Neville Goddard was quoting from something I can't remember what it was but every vision has its appointed hour the book of Habakkuk I think it will it will ripen it will flower if it be long then wait for it is sure and it will not be late so it has its appointed time it will come to fruition and the more effectively you can do the visualization the more effective you are at ignoring your 3d reality dropping those anxieties and doubts the quicker that manifestation will come to you the smoother it will be drawn to you without any resistance so it's hugely important just ignore the 3d reality you know don't be checking up their social media and doing any any sort of negative behaviors or bombarding them with messages or chasing them we're attracting we are turning into magnets you know so ignore what the 3d reality is telling you at the moment and suspend that disbelief and just focus in on exactly what you want now it is so so important because what, what I've had here as well is that um, what I've noticed is that um, it's it's really kind of said that okay manifest the text fine you might manifest that text but if you're not really specific about it you could end up manifesting a text that you don't want to attract it might just be a text like you know or how are you doing or you something negative or you know not exactly what you want so we want to not only manifest the text we want to manifest the content of the text to see that and like I say I will take you through a guided visualization but just have that in your mind at the moment so just spend the disbelief have it in your mind what exactly you want from this text exactly what you want be specific and it doesn't have to be long or reams and reams in fact you're better off just thinking of maybe a word or a couple or, or a short sentence or something like that something that is easy for you to focus on and visualize you know we don't want to put all words in their mouth but you know just there's a couple of key words in there just to it's just so that you manifest the type of text that you want you don't just want to manifest the text you want that message to say something specific that is why you're here you want um, a feeling from this you want to feel a certain way you want it to you know maybe you want to reconnect with this person or you want to salvage the relationship or something so there's something specific that needs to be said so that's really important and now we'll go on to the guided visualization part of it so for this guided visualization just want you to get comfortable um, lay down in your bed or sit on a comfy sofa like this with all fluffy throws get comfortable and just make sure that everything is turned off apart from your phone or your laptop wherever you're watching this video on because all you need to do is just listen to the video um, you can watch it as well but I would say listen mostly because you're going to be in the depths of your unconscious mind throughout it and uh, make sure the temperature of the room is nice and warm sit back or lay back and just breathe in through your nose for three seconds and breathe out through your mouth for six 
and continue this process a few times and what this allows you to do is just regulate your breathing and it helps you to just relax and that's what we need because we need to be present in this current moment in time you know not worrying about what's happened in the past and what's happened before and what's not happening or not working out just relinquish control and allow yourself to just be subjected to this moment right now breathing in through your nose for three seconds breathing out through your mouth for six and fill your eyelids with every breath that you take just getting heavier and heavier now and if you haven't already done so just allow your eyelids to close as you continue to breathe in this nice regulated manner allowing your shoulders to drop and the tension in your body to leave you with every breath you take and every word that I utter and allow now the screen in your mind to just go blank and focus on my words as you continue to breathe gently allowing yourself to just relax and be present in the moment and any other sounds that you may hear around you just allows you to relax further and now I would like for you to visualize that specific person that you would love to get a message from that specific person that you were eager to hear from visualize them now wherever they might be at home in their room on the sofa somewhere but just see them in their environment now and make yourself present in that environment they're not aware that you're there but see them, touch them, reach out to them, feel their hair, feel their shoulder, feel their clothing, but just feel the material, touch them, smell their perfume, their cologne, distinctive smell, whatever it might be, fabric conditioner, whatever it is, but that distinctive smell, ground yourself in the room, feel your feet firmly on the floor, and you're looking at them, hearing what they're doing, seeing them sitting there, picking up their phone. They're looking down at the screen, they're scrolling through the contacts, they're picking out your name. They're going into their message app or WhatsApp or Instagram, whatever it is that they're going to message you through. And they start to type out that message, that message that you would really like to see and be specific even if it's just a couple of key words or a sentence. But see them typing out one letter after the other, putting together this message, especially for you. Hear the sounds, see it clearly in your mind, make the colors in the picture in your mind vibrant, feel the floor beneath your feet, touch their shoulder and feel them and immerse yourself in this moment. And now once they've completed the message that they're going to send to you, you see them pressing send and it is gone. It is sent out there and it is making its way to you now. And feel yourself holding the phone in your hand and feeling if you have a vibration notification or a specific tone hear the sounds, feel the vibrations, look down at the screen and see their name appear. See that they have sent you a message. Unlock your phone and go into the messages and read it. See the screen of that phone clear in your mind's eye. Feel the coolness of the screen of the mobile in your hand and really immerse yourself in this moment. There is that message you've received, the message that you've been waiting for. Read it and feel the sensations welling up within you, how you would feel having received this message, the elation, the excitement, and you have manifested this, and it feels amazing that your manifestation has come to fruition, and you can't help but smile and feel wonderful inside. And perhaps some of you will notice yourself smiling. 
as you go through this visualization, as you immerse yourself in the feelings, but hold those feelings within you for as long as you can and really immerse yourself in it. You've seen the message that you've wanted from them, that you've been waiting for them so eagerly to send you and here it is in front of you. You are that powerful that you have manifested this message and it feels exciting and euphoric. And allow those sensations and emotions to well up and to build and build. And then with a deep breath in, breathe out and send that energy out into the universe, send it off to your specific person and close with gratitude. Thank you universe, thank you God, thank you source, whatever you would like to call it, but thank you, thank you for this message that has come to me, this message that I have manifested. Thank you for bringing my manifestation to fruition and feel the gratitude building within you as you are so excited and happy to have received that message. Be grateful for the fact that you have received this message that you are so eager to receive. And now you may allow yourself to either repeat the visualization to drift off into a lovely and gentle sleep or to slowly open your eyes and to start your day or finish your day, whatever time it is, and to continue with the knowing that that seed has been planted, knowing that that message has been received. And open your eyes. So I hope this guided visualization helped. Um, like I say, if you would like to listen to it again and fall asleep to it, do so. For some people, it's, um, it's the most effective way for manifesting. You're in that theta or theta state as some people pronounce it. Um, but that's the kind of, that's the, the brain, the, the brain wave that you want to be in right as you fall asleep, you know, we fall into a theta brainwave pattern and that is when your unconscious mind is more um, open and susceptible to um, you know being imprinted on so if you like to do that and fall asleep to it then do put it on repeat listen until you fall asleep go through it as many times as you can in your mind to go to sleep um, and perhaps after a while you won't need to be guided through it anymore you could just do it automatically but it is truly effective and um, I look forward to hearing your results look forward to hearing of your experiences and um, do remember as well not to stifle the energy um, with negative thoughts, worried thoughts, checking your phone every five minutes. Did I get this message? Why haven't I got this message? Nothing like that. Don't keep checking your phone, looking to see if they've messaged you. Don't keep worrying about it. Just let it go. The seed has been planted. You don't need to keep digging up to the seed to see if it sprouted. That's not going to help you. Just Plant the seed and let it grow and it will come to you at its own appointed hour at the right time. But it is coming 100%. So um, I wish you all the best. Thank you very much for joining me and do join me at my future videos as well. And if you've got any idea for future content you would like to see, please do share with me. I'll be happy to, um, to put together something for you. So thank you very much.